three o'clock and all's well. Hey, bartender, put a head on this glass of beer, will you? Thanks very much. Here's to you, Marilyn Monroe, wherever I am. Ooh, I love this kind of music. Reminds me of some of the best drunk jokes I ever heard. Why don't you tell a couple? All righty. My favorite's the one about the fellow who went to a birthday party and helped the host drink up his presents. It's now about five o'clock in the morning and he is stoned, but he's in the Bowery in New York and he's hungry, so he wanders into one of those all-night dairy lunches, ulcer emporiums, the advance men for a Mayo Brothers clinic. It's the kind of place, if it's raining, you don't know what you're eating. It washes the menu off the window. You know those restaurants where you walk in, you sit down, and you have a feeling a horse should be pulling it. Then you order something and you know what happened with a horse. I got in one of those places one night, I said to the fella, bring me a steak. The guy brings me two big thick steaks on a sizzling platter. I said, what's that? He said, horse meat. I said, ah, oh, come on, who can eat that? He said, don't be a wise guy, it ain't bad, give it a whirl. I said, to tell you the truth, looks pretty good there. It was the French fries and the sour cream. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll take this steak, the one on the right. He says, take both of them. I said, are you kidding? I never ate horse meat in my life. He says, take both of them. It's a daily double. I can't split it. Well, this is the kind of a place this fella wanders into, and he's sitting there pretty well guzzled up, and the boss walks over and says, what do you want? He looks up, he says, uh, I'd like to get a cup of coffee and a bun. Boss says, we don't have any uh, buns. Says, All right, then I'll just have a cup of tea and a bun. He said, I don't think you understand me, my friend. We do not have any buns, no buns. And he says, you think I'm one of them rocket skies gonna make you a lot of trouble, buddy. I just soon have a glass of milk and a bun. Boss says, you jerk, don't you understand? We have no buns, no buns. Guy says, oh, if you're gonna get sore, I'll just have a bun. The boss throws him out and he goes wandering up the street. Sees a bunch of fellas working on an excavation. Looks down, he says, hey, what are you guys doing down there? Man looks up, he says, we're building a subway. Oh, what's the subway? If we get finished, you'll be able to ride all over town for 15 cents. How long do you think it'll be before it's finished? Oh, I don't know, six, seven months. To hell with it, I'll take a cab. A little later, he wanders into a saloon, and by this time, he's so drunk, he can't even hold his head up. He's sitting on the bar stool with his head on the bar. Bartender says, what do you want? He says, give me a scotch and soda. Bartender says, you're so drunk now, you can't lift your head. She says, all right, give me a haircut. He got hungry again later that afternoon, and he goes to the automat. Gets ten dollars worth of nickels and dimes, walks around, sticking them in all the slots. Got the table piled up with food, and the boss walks over and says, Come on, you're drunk, get out of here. Drunk looks at him, he says, Oh, no, you don't, not when I'm winning. Suddenly, out of all his drunken haze, he remembers he has a wife and family. Now, he hasn't been home in about six months. He calls his wife. This is now about four o'clock in the morning. He says, Oh, honey, what do you got for dinner tonight? She says, Oh, rats. He says, only cook half, I ain't coming home. She says, you better come home or I'll trace this call, I'll find you, I'll fracture your skull. He says, all right, honey, don't get mad, I'll come right home. Get the kids off the street, I'm driving. She says, where are you? He says, I don't know. She says, you sure? He says, no, I haven't the faintest idea where I am. She says, well, run outside and look at the street sign. So he runs out and looks at the street sign, he comes back, he says, hello, honey, she says, I know where I am now. I'm on the corner of walk and don't walk. Goes out, naturally he can't find his car. Lives out in the suburbs, so he gets on a little local train. He realizes he's pretty well slopped up, has a growth of beard about three weeks long. So he borrows a razor, shaving cream, and a mirror, goes in the men's room, hangs a mirror up on the wall, lathers up his face. Just as he starts to shave, he drops the razor. 
As he leans down to pick up the razor, the train lurches and a mirror falls off the wall. He stands up, looks at the blank wall, and says, oh my God, I cut my head off. Finally he gets home, he's leaning up against a lamppost, watching the curb go by. Cop comes along, he says, all right, buddy, come on, move along here, let's go. Move al-. He says, uh, why says move along stuff, blubber nose, I live here. He says, if you live here, why don't you go in the house? He says, I forgot my key. He says, why don't you ring the bell? He says, I rang the bell a half hour ago and nobody answered. He says, why don't you ring it again? He says, to hell with him, let him wait. His wife hears all the ruckus, goes out, drags him in the house. She threatens, scolds, means nothing. Next night, whoosh, guy is gone again. She makes every saloon, every cocktail lounge, every joint in town, just about to give up. She looks through the window of this one place and there he sits. She walks in, Eric. Oh, he says, oh, honey, what's your say, honey? She says, don't honey me, you bum. It's four o'clock in the morning. Let's go home. She says, all right, honey, you're going right home. How about a little drinky with your old man? A little nightcappy? A little snorty? A little boozy? She says, you know I never drink. Well, he says, you better have a little drink with me now or I ain't coming home. <sighs> she says, oh, all right. She looks at the bartender. She says, give me whatever my husband's drinking. He gives her about a three-finger slug of scotch. She takes it down in one gulp. She goes, oh, <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, my God. God, how can you drink that horrible stuff? He says, yeah, and you think I'm out every night having a good time. How you like that? It's still three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs>